In this how-to project video, we'll use the DP Control app to overdub audio and show you how the new punch guard feature works in DP8. Before we start recording, let's select a new theme from the Preferences window. How about this theme called Arctic? OK, so the last audio track we're going to actually record is an acoustic guitar part. We've already set up a mono audio track and sent it to the headphones, so we can jump right in. Now when overdubbing, I always try to start playback from the same location. That way the performer knows exactly what to expect during each punch. There are a couple of transport features that can help with this. First, we'll turn on Link Selection to Memory in the control panel, which takes a selection range and places it into the memory start and stop times. Notice how the memory location follows the current selection and even updates in real time. And if you turn on the edit grid, you can have the time range selection snap to the current grid value so our punch-in and out points can be more precise. If we also engage Link Playback to Memory, this button here, Playback will also link to the current selection, like this. OK, so the first acoustic part happens in the middle of verse 2. If I select markers in the counter, I can locate right to that location. Now I can simply drag in the time ruler to set the record range. Link Playback to Memory also enables Pre and Post Roll. Remember that Pre Roll lets playback start before the punch in point, and Post Roll lets playback continue after the punch out. Pre Roll gives the performer and the engineer time to prepare for the punch, while Post Roll ensures that playback doesn't just stop when we've punched out of a track, which can be really jarring for the performers. Click and drag the Pre and Post Roll indicators to change the Pre and Post Roll durations. If you want to enter a specific start and end time for pre and post roll, you can do so in the selection information panel. If you want to work in a different time format, say measures instead of minutes and seconds, open the time formats window and in the details section, select the format or formats you want to use. Now, if you have an iPhone or iPad, you can use the DP Control app to control DP. Once the Control app is launched, remember you can click Settings to connect the app to DP. Be sure to have an open source control driver enabled in the Control Surface window, so DP can communicate with the app. Once paired, you can control DP from your iPhone or iPad. I'll switch to the Transport and hit Play to test the connection. Keep on running, but I'm pretty sure I'll figure it out. Oh, no. Great. We can even arm the acoustic guitar track from the app and start recording. Keep on running, but I'm pretty sure I'll figure it out. Oh, now this is get a little crazy. There's no reason that I should die. Let's queue up the next section, which happens in the second chorus. For this record pass, I want to show you DP8's new Punch Guard feature in action. Punch Guard records additional audio in the background, before and after a punch, which helps prevent situations where you might have punched in too late or punched out too early. Here in the Audio Options tab of the Preferences window, you can set the amount of audio that gets preserved at the start and end of a record pass. By default, DP preserves four seconds of pre-roll audio, the stuff that happens before the punch, and one second of post-roll audio, the stuff after the punch. Finally, you have the option of always recording pre-roll audio, even when recording from a dead stop, or only when you're playing back audio and manually punching into a track. We'll set punch guard to always record pre-roll, and we'll make the post-roll value a little longer, 
say two seconds. Okay, to test punch guard, I'll intentionally punch out early so we cut off the end of the phrase. Let's check it out. Notice how the end of the phrase is missing because I punched out too early, and how the start is also cut off since I set the punch in point too late. Let's listen back. But with DPH punch guard, you can simply edge drag the start and end of the sound bite to recover or reveal the missing part of the phrase. In this video, you learned how to link playback to the current selection, set up pre and post roll and automate a punch, use the DP control app to control the transport and record, and rescue audio from a bad punch with DP8's punch guard feature. In the next steps, we'll record MIDI in real time with Step Record and QuickScribe.